<laughs> the free world deserves better than a dithering and diminished leader. America deserves leaders who recognize that secure borders, stable prices, safe streets, and a strong defense are actually the cornerstones of a great nation. President Joe Biden blasted by Alabama Senator Katie Britt in the official Republican response and by his predecessor and almost certain opponent, Donald J. Trump. The country, our country, is being laughed at all over the world. It's time to tell crooked Joe Biden, you're fired. Panel four national polls released within the last week each have Trump and Biden in a virtual dead heat. I'm going straight to Holly. Uh, Katie Britt, your thoughts? Well, wow, that was now. interesting. Uh, that was a bit too much pathos for my taste. Uh, it was a little dramatic. Uh, if you took away the drama with it and looked at some of the facts, I think it was a little more interesting. Uh, Americans are concerned about the economy. I'm sorry, Sergio, it is not the greatest economy in 50 years. Um, we're struggling with inflation. And uh, the number one issue on Americans' minds, according to the most recent polls, is immigration and a lack of border security that we have right now. Um, the president, as I mentioned before, did not mention that until near the end of his so-called State of the Union speech and uh, really did not talk about the serious crimes that uh, have stemmed from this, that uh, a person who murdered the young woman in Georgia had three encounters with law enforcement and uh, there were many opportunities to make sure this person was not in the country illegally. Yeah, instead, Katie Britt used a case that did not even occur while Joe Biden was president. You know what I'm talking yeah, about, Charles. Unfortunately. I mean, Chris, <laughs> Chris, if you had her on the stand and she did that, uh, oh. would you toss out the entire thing? I, was, I would love to cross-examine her. That was, that was, yeah, I love Joe Biden's speech. That was one of the worst speeches I've ever seen. It was juvenilely delivered. And uh, she looked like a, a, a sorority president uh, uh, delivering a speech to me. It was horrible, and she lied. And uh, she, the, the impassioned argument about the girl being raped and, and sex trafficked when she was 12 happened when George Bush was president, and it didn't happen in the United States. It happened in Mexico. And she just lied. And you don't get the trust of the American people when you tell a blatant lie like that, that anyone can hit Google and find out. And it was horrible. That's a deep bench on the Republican side. That was not what they wanted to accomplish, right, Charles? Not, I, no, not at all. If you look at the comments the next day, I don't think so at all. Um, you know, the, the content of what she was saying, save for, for that one example, I thought was decent. But it was this overperformance. Like, she was like, this is my time to shine. Let me let me show everyone. And it, and it just came across as very fake. And, and, I, and I didn't, it, I, they were saying that this was geared towards suburban women. But I don't know any suburban women who, who sat there and was like, this was phenomenal. <laughs> um, I heard a lot of people say that it felt like she was yelling at them in a Target parking lot. And I was like, yeah, I can see that. Um, and so, no, I, I don't think it, it was it was good at all. And they should have picked someone like, I think, a Beth Van Dyne or even like a Wesley mm. Hunt, someone else who has experienced Wesley speaking Hunt. publicly and does it well rather than, than the senator, this new senator. I got about 25 seconds. Uh, I, just, I was listening to that. I thought it was a commercial. I thought that was Martha Stewart's granddaughter or something. It was just <laughs> flat. It was just, there was no substance to it. All right, all right, we're going to hear what Marcus has to say in depth and overtime. <laughs>